Today on WNPA News, we invite you to the Member Connect event on February 4th, 2023, give you details about your 990 tax returns, and highlight a resource called Teachable. Hello, and welcome to WNPA News. I'm Joy McLean, your host for WNPA. Join us for our Member Connect Intensive on Saturday, February 4, 2023, over Zoom. Like our annual refresher, the Member Connect Intensive has a speaker, breakout discussions, and connecting opportunities with other members. Our speaker, Kelly Werner, teaches on how to use the power of story to drive forward your mission and impact. Start this new year encouraged and equipped. Become a member now and visit womensmpa.org slash events to register. Now that your donation receipts and 1099s have been mailed, it is time to think about your 990 tax return due May 15th. The publicly available Form 990 is an informational document that highlights your nonprofit's mission, programs, finances, and accomplishments from the past year. The IRS uses it to ensure you comply with laws regulating your exempt status. Your organization's 990 is available to your current and prospective donors. By using the Form 990, Donors can learn about your organization's governance, or the lack thereof, operations and programs. Nonprofits that fail to give proper attention to the preparation and review of their 990 form might unconsciously sabotage their organization's reputation with donors. Here are some common mistakes that nonprofits make. First, the mission and program accomplishments are not clearly stated. These are on the first page of the form. Use it to excite donors with the key insights about your organization's mission and value to the community, as well as the work you're doing. Second, there's no conflict of interest policy. Donors often review an organization's Form 990 to see if your organization has a conflict of interest policy in place. It gives greater transparency and might be one of the most important policies a nonprofit board can have. And third, it's not clear that oversight is a priority for your organization. The Form 990 has a section on governance and your nonprofit's policies. This can show your organization's commitment to strong oversight. A donor may want to know the size of the governing board and how many board members are independent. They may see if you have whistleblower and document retention policies. They might also want to know if your board or designated committee reviews your Form 990 prior to filing. Today, we highlight Teachable. It is an online course platform that gives you an opportunity to share and possibly monetize what you know. It's affordable. There's a free version and it's user friendly. Visit teachable.com for that information. That's it for today. I'm Joy McLean with WMPA. Thanks for tuning in and have a blessed day. <music>